Maximizers and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. I am a coupon coach, educator, and the creator of the Swap Maximizer Academy. And today's video is so highly requested today. We are doing my stockpile tour. So I'm going to take you all around my apartment and I'm going to show you all the places that I have my stockpile placed. Now, this is just a small portion of my stockpile. I have so many other places, so many other things that I want to share with you guys. And also, while I'm doing that, give you tips if you live in a smaller space on where you can house your stockpile, put your stockpile to really allow you to build up for three, six, nine, or even 12 months worth of essentials that you and your family need without having them like just cluttered everywhere. So if you're interested in seeing my 2020 stockpile tour, then just keep on watching. All right. I know I told you guys I have my stockpile in some weird kind of places. So this is my under bed stockpile storage. So don't mind this mess. Kinsley, you know, put her drawings on it. So this is just like some personal care items that I have in here. So a lot of stuff that I've gotten from like my boxy charm boxes that I haven't really had a chance to use. I actually am going to be looking in here because I need some moisturizer because I haven't been able to, it's a water cream. I haven't been able to get my Cetaphil hydrating moisturizer for cheap. So I'm going to be looking through here to see what moisturizers I do have so I can try one of those. Um, so what do I have in here? A lot of skincare products. This was a sample that I received while I was out somewhere. Oh, I may try one of these. I have some cleansers in here. I got this from BoxyCharm for sure. I have some evening primrose oil. There's some sunless tanner in here. Some first aid beauty cleanser brightening enzyme water cream um all of my nail polishes that i have bought in for kinsley bought and that i bought for kinsley are in here i have some tons of makeup remover in here cleanser makeup removers when i was buying these saint ives scrubs are in here and this stuff is just messy because i just throw all the skincare and facial care stuff in here Ooh, some bum bum body cream i'm gonna take that out too that's something i can use Tons of cleansers that I've gotten from CVS and Walgreens on clearance. This is an eye cream from Shea Moisture. And I think this is a toner. Yeah, a toner in here. And then this is that Publix remover I got. I got these free because I had like manufacturer coupons. More nail polish remover. We have emery boards in here. And then here is more. What is this? Ooh, dry screen facial moisturizer. I'm going to bring the ponds out too. I'm going to bring out a variety and see which ones I like the most. So, Transform Moisturizing Super Cream. Ah, we got a bunch in here. I knew I had some, so that's why I wasn't tripping about the Cetaphil. But I know this is a stockpile tour, but I wanted to just show you guys what we have. I have a peel-off mask in here. I use this. This can probably go because I know it's been open for a while, but I use this a lot. It's a Radiance Facial Wash and Scrub. I'm going to throw that out because I know it's been open for a while. I have all of my facial masks in here. About a year ago at CVS, we were getting facial masks like for free money maker so i have a bunch of face masks in here i have eye masks in here from boxycharm this is a lip mask that i got from boxycharm so uh, eye gel packs there's a ton of stuff in here i just keep all this stuff under my bed for when i need it this is more like travel stuff so this is when i went to some event and then i had like a ponytail and i just shoved the ponytail in there but i had pads and tampons i always have these random bags like just packed everywhere so if i'm ever going on a trip last minute or something i can just grab one of these and i know that even if i'm not expecting my period i'm prepared for any sort of surprises or to help a fellow girlfriend out because it happens to us sometimes as women um this came i believe in a pinch me box and then i keep this bag in my stockpile this is all like travel size things so when i go to hotels and stuff and i like their lotions and their creams and their um shampoos and conditioners i throw them all in this bag again travel size if i ever have to take just a carry on and i need small size stuff for just like a quick weekend trip when i'm going to see bay then i'll just grab one of those and then i got these i forget where i got these from but there's a four-piece illuminating set it's in here with all the skincare stuff 
these little nail kits i've gotten these in here one was a gift one i bought and then i got victoria's secret lotions that i've gotten on clearance and some bath and body works i usually leave these at my desk or i put them inside of my coupon bag or my purse and i keep those in my purse because they smell good so this is my under bed stockpile storage so again bunch of stuff i just throw in here oh and makeup wipes are usually in this bag but i've been using a lot of them now i have one other storage place inside of my room let me show that one to you so this drawer is just in my room and it's kind of like a backup to hair stuff that i need so i have some vitamins in here this is where i leave my stockpile of q-tips which is low i had like five packs of these and i'm down to my last one and these things have lasted me for years i have an extra denman brush because i'm a curly girl then i have some extra pads in here that i leave in here just in case the ones in the bathroom run out so i don't have to run to the stockpile i will put like pads and tampons in here as like restock same thing over here this was a giant tampon and razor drawer but i had started to pull from here to bring stuff with me to maryland and then another thing that i stockpile is head scarves and these i have paid these are from melanin hair care so i paid full price for them and then um these ones have been gifts so this is just my stockpile of all kinds of hair stuff so i like to show you guys things that are not just the average stockpile of stuff, stuff that i actually have in my room in my closet in like hidden space if we venture into my bathroom i have what i call like my personal stockpile of stuff this is stuff that i don't want to share with anyone that i want to use so i have it stockpiled in here so all of my melanin hair care is in here so no one like if i have a friend or a family member who wants to get stuff and i'm like taking pictures of my stockpile yeah they won't see my good stuff and this is also the stuff that i'm actually using so you see i have tons of melanin hair care i have oil i have gels i have have some l'oreal in here i have pantene in here i have some tresemme in here not tresemme i keep calling it tresemme nexus but tons of melanin hair care stuff i bought some body butters so i have all my body butters in here obviously my chanel perfume that they bought me that is definitely personal so this is just my personal little stockpile of all the things that i like to use and things that are personal to me that i don't want anyone else to use if they indeed came to my house like if someone needs shampoo and they're at my house they just go to the stockpile and grab it but like this is like my personal stash now that's the extent of what i have in my bathroom everything else is either in the closet or on the regular stockpile but anything that i buy like this is my favorite toothpaste so i just grab these and i put them in my closet because that's my personal favorite and if i don't have to give those away i won't because <laughs> those are the ones that i like the most so yeah that's my room and my bathroom stockpile okay so this is kitchen pantry number one and i do want to let you guys know my stockpile is kind of low right now because i'm going to be traveling to baltimore and i took some stuff out it was another pack of paper towels but it's in my car now and there was two packs of toilet extra toilet paper but it's in my car now but basically i put my toilet paper and my paper towels here all of the cleaning supplies so these are my leftover swiffer steam mop pads swiffer wet jet pads i have uh tissues when we can get them on sale the big black trash bags when we get them on sale and then my cleaning for my swiffer wet jet then this is where i leave my alcohol so my jose and my amaretto um when i got those clearance ice pops for kinsley and this is where i keep um more snacks as well as cereal that can't fit in other pantry and then the big box of the ramen noodles right there okay so that's in here i save all of my walgreens and cvs and walmart bags this is all reusable shopping bags over here is for breeze again it's kind of low because i grab stuff to take with me to baltimore so i keep all of my air fresheners over here. here as well are the plugins for febreze and i have glade and i have Airwick, so i have all of them um so i have the plugins here and then there's more of those wet jets but i mean the wet mops but i switched back to my swiffer wet jet so i haven't been using those as much this is where i put my extra trash bags again i had another box but i'm bringing one with me to baltimore and then this is where i leave my cat food stockpile so all these bags that I got from Publix for like a dollar and then all of the cat treats as well are in here. And when he has wet food, he usually has wet food right there. But I took basically all the wet food we had with us to Baltimore. So it's packed and I still have to grab. I'm probably just going to grab like these two bags of food and bring with me and then put some treats in there for him. This is my water stockpile. So I have Fiji water. I have 
CVS brand and Walgreens brand water. Extra cat litter also goes over here. And then in here is where I leave my cleaning. So the vacuum cleaner, the Swiffer, you can see the Bissell steam mop. That's what those steam pads are for. I got them when they were going on clearance like three years ago. When I tell you, I probably had like 12 containers of those things. Like they were like a dollar and some change. So I had like 12 of them. It was insane. But then I switched back to my Swiffer wet jet. So I kind of like that better. So I keep my cleaning actual items here and then this is our cart for the beach which actually helps me when i have groceries and stuff because i live on the second floor i can put everything in the car make one trip bring it to the front door and then bring things up the stairs accordingly so this is my pantry with well, one the of them i'm gonna show you guys this rack so for this rack i put my sunflower seeds up here then i have like gravy peanut butter and stuff that we're using here's an open bag of combos tuna hot sauce so a lot of this stuff again has been taken because i'm going to be bringing it with me to baltimore so again that's what we have here usually this stuff is like stocked full but what i did was over the past month or so i've just allowed myself to eat everything down and not really replenish because i didn't know i was going to be gone for a while and i didn't want to have stuff here expiring that we weren't going to be actively eating so in my kitchen i have tons of cabinet space so i have various things here so all things soap for the house so hand soap is here dish soap is here pods for the dishwasher and then my floor cleaning supplies so i know you guys saw me with the steam mop and i know you guys saw me with the swiffer but when i did not love the steam mop i was literally doing mr clean hands and knees on the floor or i would use mr clean and use that wet mop as well um and not really use the steaming capabilities but like basically make my own ghetto mop but use mr clean so i love using that for my floors uh ant and roach spray we're in florida so there's always some bugs i have some pet fresh odor eliminator for the carpet because i do have a cat so i like to use that these are the trash bags that we use like on an every day when i want to pull some and then all of my cleaners as you guys can see back here, we got CLR, we got some Clorox, we got stain remover for the floor, and then we got lasso, Clorox, there's some more Clorox back there, and then some all-purpose cleaner. So I put all of that stuff under the sink. So I utilize this as stockpile space as well, even though it's under the sink. So anything that's cleaning or hand soap, dish soap is here. And as you guys can see, my stockpile is low when it comes to hand soap and, in my opinion, dish soap. So those things are on my never want to run out of list. But dish soap and hand soap are also on my needs list pretty much every week until I feel like I have a three to six month supply. I like to have enough of these for two per month. So for a six month supply, I would need 12. So right now I have like a one month supply because me and Kinsley go through about two of the, maybe like one and a half per month. We wash our hands a lot especially with corona so i like to have at least two per month to sustain us so i'm super low on that this cabinet is like a soda and juice cabinet so those are a bunch of ocean sprays okay you can see that that one is going to expire soon so i'm actually going to bring that with me to baltimore since it has an expiration date um the rest of these don't expire until 2021 this one says november so i'm gonna bring that one with me to baltimore as well so i put extra drinks and stuff in here same thing with this cabinet is basically arizona city so i stock up all my arizona iced teas and there's some ginger ale and such back there as well and this is like back up to the pantry so this thing was really full the other day but again i grabbed stuff to basically shop and bring with me to baltimore so essentially pasta sauce peanut butter jelly oatmeal essentially when i don't have enough space inside of that pantry that i showed you guys i put all the stuff down here as backup so like the syrup that we're using every day goes in the pantry but then the backup syrup goes in here if that makes sense so with that being said this is usually stock four but again when i get back home i'll be building it back up but this is what the stockpile looks like you know i have an extra ketchup and all that jazz down there here's my pantry pantry so i like to keep all of my nice storage bags tea kool-aid the sugar's back there the flour's back there hot chocolate then this is where i put cereal oatmeal queen of wheat snacks we're eating bread that we're eating and cereal that we're eating goes here so you can see there's 
eight boxes of cereal here and we have like four or five more in the pantry this is where i put all my pasta so i had a couple that were expired y'all and then we ate them down again i told you guys i was eating down my stockpile because i wanted to just make sure that i was going through everything not wasting there was only a couple things expired which i was so grateful for so pasta is definitely high on my needs list and then i have these bars which expire in december so i need to bring those with me so that we can eat them up before December. Then down here, this is like active snacks that we are eating. Again, super low because I just cleaned this out because we're going to Baltimore. But I just wanna give you guys an example of living in a two bedroom apartment. This is how I store my stockpile in various places. This is where I put active bags and such that we are using. And I like to keep this kind of clean just in case I have any extra things. So like there was one time where I had bought a lot of goldfish for Kinsley. I put them up here. There was something else I put up here, but I can't remember at the moment. But I like to keep this one semi-empty. But this is where I put all the bags, aluminum foil, and things that we're using. Plastic, everyday uh, wear if we're using that. Then down here is where all the canned goods are. So you can see back there we have a ton of soups and canned green beans. And then my flour and sugar containers so that's pretty much everything that I have inside of the kitchen okay so next we're in my laundry room which is basically like a little closet right off the kitchen I have a washing machine I have a dryer and I put all of my laundry items here so this is where we have all of the dryer sheets you guys can see I have dryer sheets then I have a ton of pods back there we have Tide we have Gain we have all then we have Purex pods here Tide pods here okay then right here i have bleach and then i have the febreze odor eliminators i have my purex crystals i have my fabric softeners i'm low on fabric softeners y'all only have three of them and then this is my liquid detergents and my shout stain spray so this is where i keep my laundry stockpile i keep it right by the laundry again this is another way for me to utilize my space there is a way where i could purchase shelves from like target or walmart or something and add more up here to add more space so again i just for you to be creative when it comes to space you could even put shelves up there yeah you would have to stand on the ladder but if you're doing a one year supply you could put a shelf up there and put your second year stuff up there the current stuff up here and then rotate when you buy new stuff put it up high and then the older stuff go down here you know so just be creative with your space I, like i showed you guys hiding stuff under the bed and such so just be creative with your space. And I also like to make it practical. The things that I'm using, I want it by there. I don't want all of my detergent on my shelf in the living room because I don't wash my clothes over there. I wash my clothes over here. I know how much I need, but once this is full, I'm like, I don't need anything. And then I have the things that I'm actively using to wash clothes. I just leave it on top of the dryer. But once this is full, it's like, I don't need to buy anything else because we're full up. This is my hall closet with all of my towels and such. I even have storage down here. I'll show you guys in that bin as well because that's stockpile stuff. So up here is makeup and I'm literally doing this on the fly. This is all lip products that we've gotten from CVS and Walgreens and such, okay? This is freaking all lip products. Do you hear me? Up here is all eye care. So, we got mascaras, we got eyeshadows, we got brow pencils. I mean, all things eyes are in here. I have not gone through this in a while. I'll probably go through it when I get back. I wanted to go through it before I left, but it's not no time, y'all. So that's all eye stuff. This is actually some hair stuff. Um, this is a FabFit Fun Box. It still has a couple things in there that I haven't been using. This is all face stuff, so foundations. And this is all like uh, blushes and face powders and bronzers. This is cotton swabs. And this is like all the actual lip products that I actually use. Like I haven't used this Nivea. This bag is like stuff that I've actually opened, stuff that I've actually used. I pull from there first when I'm looking for something all of that is in there okay these are my active makeup bags so like i'm traveling this is the extent of the makeup that i will bring with me the cure the cure the core things that i like to use are in here okay so if i want to look a little bit cute i have stuff in there all right i'm gonna go through that again and then this is like my big big makeup tote of like everything and then what is in here this is more face stuff 
but I really need to go through it more face stuff powders it looks like okay so I just really need to take probably a few hours but because I'm in the middle of packing I don't have a few hours and you guys are getting a stockpile tour in real you know real life so this is what I call my medicine cabinet so I have all of my old glasses my contacts in here and then this is where all of our medicine all of our vitamins all of our hauls and Kinsley has a thermometer so this is where the thermometer extra things are and then just literally all of the medicine under the sun band-aids like pretty much everything you need medicine wise is in here and like I said this is our medicine cabinet all right okay and then I'm gonna show you guys my like school supplies and office supply stockpile I don't think I showed you guys this already so I put sticky notes up here then down here yes pin city anything that you can write with like y'all I got parkour markers big paper mate these I'm supposed to recycle I don't know why they're in here like tons of pins white out actually this was be a phone case and take that out highlighters um extra disney pins like y'all i just i look it's just tons and tons of pins okay i'm addicted to pins addicted and then this is thank you notes this is the bag that i the box that i created with the socks um these are going to be giveaways but i'm gonna bring those to baltimore with me because they seem comfy i have the double-sided tape that you can use in your planner paper clips staplers and then these little notepads all kinds of notepads that i have under there okay that's good this is like personal information in there and usb drives and miscellaneous stuff and then over here i have razor city usa so razors and toothbrushes which i'm most likely going to take all of these toothbrushes yeah, Toothbrush City is in here. I do have an extra spin brush. Um, spin brush head here. Oh, look, another thing I need to donate for that. So, yeah, all this razors and then the toothbrushes are in there because it's hard to put the toothbrushes on the stockpile. They always fall through. And then down here, again, is more personal stuff. Stuff I need for the post office when I'm mailing stuff. And then some Summer Eve's wipes. That I'll actually bring those with me. Um, and then here is some lotions that could not fit on the stockpile. And there's some more tampons under there too. And under here is just this is all of my fun notebooks. So I bought a ton of these because I told you guys I love them. I have write the word journals. I have all kinds of like cute little notebooks that I bought. I have one right here that says looking sharp. Which I love just because it says sharp on it. So yeah, there's all kinds of notebooks in here i write the word journal kids for kinsley she has two of them she's got to finish her first one first so that's all of like my office stockpile all right so i know you guys are probably thinking crystal show us the stockpile and can i tell you guys epic fail i cannot find the footage that i did of recording me in front of the stockpile shelf what so what I'm going to do for you guys is I have some pictures of it. And because I'm currently in Baltimore and I won't be home for a little bit and I really want you guys to get this video, I'm just going to talk you through me organizing the shelf. And I'm also going to insert some video clips here of the actual shelf. And back when I organized my stockpile originally, I'll insert those clips as well so you guys can see that as I'm talking. So... On the top shelf, I have all of my feminine care. So I put all of my pads, my tampons, my liners, and I wanted to put lighter things towards the top because last time I did my stockpile shelf, heavy things were on the top and it kind of started to sink in. So my biggest advice would be if you get a shelf, put the lightest things that you can on top. And like I also said throughout the video, put your items in practical places. Having my paper towels on the stockpile didn't serve me well because I used my paper towels in the kitchen. So putting them in my kitchen pantry worked best for me. Now, if you live in a small space, I had that stockpile shelf, the one you see here in the pictures, I don't know what side I'm putting it on. 
I had that in a one bedroom apartment, but it was in my living room. So you only need, you know, about an arm's length. I don't even know exactly how wide it is, but you only need a small area to put a shelf. So find a, a space in your house where you're comfortable with having a shelf to hold your stockpile if you are in a small space. So I had pads, tampons, liners on the top shelf. And then on the other side, I do have some heavier items. I have my body washes up there. I mostly put those up there so that way when I'm filming in front of the stockpile, you can see a high value item. So like body wash, I usually don't spend any more than $1.50 or less on body wash. So I wanted that to be up there. But because it's just on a corner, it doesn't cause my shelf to buckle. Like before I had all kinds of shampoo and conditioner up there and the shelf was starting to kind of buckle. So that is why on the second shelf, is where I put all of my lotion. So you can see I have Nivea lotion, I have Eucerin lotion, I have some OGX lotion for Bay. I have my sunscreen, and then to the other side of that, some shampoo and conditioners. Again, I put those up there for visual effects so that way when I'm filming in front of the stockpile, you can see it. I have all of my deodorants there. So Sure deodorant, I have Mitchum, I have Secret. And then you're gonna see the toothpaste and the mouthwash. So I put the toothpaste there again for the visual effect, but also because it's heavy, but not too heavy. And I knew I was gonna have a lot of toothpaste. So I stack up all my toothpastes. I have around 30 or 40 tubes of toothpaste. But again, I use them for over three households. So there's never a need for anyone in my family to pay full price for toothpaste, absolutely not. And then all of my mouthwash is on that shelf as well. So that shelf is heavier, but because it's in the middle, it doesn't buckle as much as the one on top. It's so weird, they're all the same type of shelf, but the top buckles more than the middle or the bottom shelves. Then the, th the third shelf, because I only have three shelves, is well, not all. There's half shampoo and conditioner on one side, and then in the middle, I have more body wash. So I did the St. Ives body wash deal at Publix, and oh my goodness, y'all. I have so much body wash now after being down to like two bottles. Now I have like 30 bottles of body wash, which I'm so excited and grateful for because we paid less than a dollar for all those body washes. Some of them were even money makers, so amazing deal. So I made two rolls for all the body washes, and then I have shaving creams and my hand sanitizer. So at the beginning of this year in March, maybe April, when the coronavirus hit, I had to make a big space for the hand sanitizers because I literally only had like two in my house. So as they came back in stock on Amazon, I ordered like two or three boxes of them and I split them between Bay here in Baltimore and then myself in Florida. So you can see my stockpile of all the hand sanitizers and all of my shaving creams that's on that shelf. And then on the bottom shelf that you can barely see is where I put the holy grail of hair dye. So I had a lot of hair dye. A lot of them I got about a year ago, completely free money makers. And then all of my shampoo and conditioners. I have Nexus, I have L'Oreal, I have Garnier Fructis, I have Dove, I have Tresemme, I have all the, all the brands you can think of of shampoo and conditioners. I have them all on the bottom shelf. They are the heaviest, and again, I used to have them on the top shelf, the shelf was buckling, so I decided to put them all down the bottom. That is also the shelf I pull from the least because the shampoo and conditioner usually lasts about three to four months in my bathroom because I don't use it as much. I mean, I shampoo my hair once a week, shampoo Kinsley's hair once every other week. So we don't go through shampoo and conditioner that much. So I don't pull from that shelf. So that's why I decided to put all of those down on the bottom. And that's it, Maximizers. That is my stockpile shelf. I hope you guys enjoyed 2020 stockpile tour. This is something I plan to do every single year. Next year, I'll make sure I do it when my stockpile is pretty, pretty stocked up. This year, last minute, oh crap, I haven't done a stockpile tour and I'm not gonna be home for a couple months. So let me go ahead and film it now. So let me know if you have any questions down in the comments about my stockpile. Again, I've had a stockpile like this since I've been in college. So I've lived in a dorm room with a stockpile. I've lived in a three bedroom apartment. I've lived in a one bedroom apartment and a two bedroom apartment with a stockpile. This is the first time I've had a shelf. So I've had my shelf in my one bedroom apartment and my two bedroom apartment. When I lived in the three bedroom, I just took the guest room closet and made that my stockpile. I didn't need to buy a shelf. There were shelves in there already and there was a ton of empty space in that house. So I was able to just stash things everywhere and it worked out totally fine. But if you're in a small space, utilize under the bed, under all your cabinet space. If you can put shelves up high, do that. And if you can get a shelf in a corner of your bedroom or in your living room, I would say definitely go ahead and do it. That shelf was like, I think 30 bucks at Walmart and it's really, really sturdy. So there's definitely opportunity there. Use on top of your refrigerator. If you have space on top of your cabinets, 
be creative with where you can put your stockpile um so yeah that is pretty much it let me know if you have any questions down below my free five day coupon confidence challenge is back y'all so if you are ready to learn how to coupon in five days to do your first deal or maybe do a deal at a store that you've been given the side eye to that you've been scared to go to sign up for the coupon confidence challenge the link is in my bio it is going to be in october and if you are watching this video after october the challenge may be happening again so just get on my email list because my email list subscribers will know when the challenge is happening all right so i do want to thank you guys so much for your love and support i appreciate each and every one of you stay safe out there as you shop to build up your stockpile and as always please like share and subscribe Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.